You guys know me. I'm Gary James. Our next preview will be the Kansas Jayhawks. We'll take a look at the KU Jayhawks of Lawrence, Kansas. More specifically, David Booth Memorial Stadium. We'll take a look at them. What happened last year? And players to watch this year. All oh, coming up next. Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away. show everybody you guys know me i'm gary james the next the next preview on the list the kansas jayhawks of lawrence kansas more specifically david booth memorial stadium there in lawrence kansas coming off of a two and eight overall the year set last season one and eight in big 12 action 10th place the only reason why they're 1-8 instead of 0-9, Texas. And a win in Austin, by the way, over Texas. regular In the regular season, no bowl win. But did get the victory 56-57 over the University of Texas Longhorns. Did Kansas and head coach Lance Leopold. Leopold, second season in charge of Kansas. Uh, is a uh, Lance is a 1986 grad from Wisconsin Whitewater, uh, where from he was also the coach. Coaching history from 2007 to 2014, as we talked about, he was at Wisconsin Whitewater, part of the Wisconsin Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, before making the big move to power to D1 NCAA football 1A. Or, or Division One football with Buffalo, 2015 to 2020 in the uh, Mid American Conference was Buffalo, and now is in a Power Five league at Kansas, 2021 to present for two years. Now, two and eight. If they want to be like three and seven, and get a couple more wins, not easy, but it gets a lot easier when you have. A player like jo uh, Jaden Daniels. Daniels was number 12 for Kansas. And last year passed for 860 yards through the air with seven touchdowns and just three picks. His longest completion last year, 44 yards. But you know what? Kansas, you're not going to be able to pass for a lot uh, uh, out there yet. So you got to run the ball quite a bit. They will run the ball quite a bit. Uh, Kai Thomas will help him do that, as will Devin Neal. Now, Kai Thomas is new to the league, new to the program, and new to the league, I should say. Number eight, Kai Thompson, Thomas, I should say, uh, had 166 rushing attempts last year to go with 824 yards through the on the ground, six touchdowns, longest run, 50 yards, and is a transfer from Big Ten player Minnesota and the Golden Gophers. Where you row that boat, baby. Devin Neal, though, he's with the team. He's been with the team. Last year, 158 rushes last year to go with 707 yards on the ground. Eight touchdowns for him. Longest run, 62 yards at Kansas. So, they have that passing running. But when Dane does go off on the... Uh, passing, you got to have some receivers at least try to get open. They'll have some try to get open. Kevin Wilson and Luke Grimes. Trevor Wilson wears number eight for Kansas. Last year, he finished the, the uh, 
He comes back as the leading receptor on the team. 27 balls caught. 364 yards through the air and a touchdown. Longest completion, longest reception, 15 yards. Now Luke Graham, he wears number 11 for Kansas. He had 23, 22 caught passes last year. 349 three yards through the air, three TDs to go with a long catch of 40. All right, so you, that's your offense. Now let's take a look at the defense. More specifically on the defense, number one, Kenny Logan, and 30, Rich Miller. One, Kenny Logan Jr., at the end of the day, 110 total tackles. Triple tackles for him, guys. Also had a fumble recovery, a fumbles forced, and a pick. All from this safety position, Des number one, Logan or Kenny Logan Jr. Helping Kenny Logan out on the tackles, Rich Miller, 79, just 79 tackles for him. Uh, zero forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, and zero picks from linebacker Rich Miller last year. So we've done offense, dumb defense. Now let's take a look at the special teams for a little while. Isaac Pearson, the punter. Isaac Pearson, punter. Isaac Pearson, 49 for... Uh, him matches his jersey number with 49 total tackles last year, averaging 40.0 on average, two touchbacks, seven balls inside the 20-yard line, and a long punt of 59 yards. And finally, Jabin Boriclia. Boriclia, 9 for 15, 60% completion rating on field goal kicking, and a long kick. Of 50 yards. All right, guys, this is our next week, Iowa State. And don't forget, that game is on the road, and there has been a schedule change for that one. That game will be played on a normal college football Saturday on either Fox or FS1. That's the game between Iowa State and Oklahoma. We will preview the game. We will preview at least Iowa State next week for this week thanks for watching my name is harry james and catch this and all my other videos on the youtube bumper sooner 1982 facebook harry james taylor or on the twitter handle at i've been harry all right guys thanks for watching this has been the oklahoma this has been the kansas jayhawk preview for 2022 peace